I'm going to give you a detailed breakdown of an Etsy dropshipping store that has generated over $285,000 in profit this year alone and over $4 million in profit since it started. They are selling some big, big, big items, 1,000 products here. The store we're gonna be reviewing has done over $571,000 in revenue this year at 50% margins, okay? So 5,000 orders, roughly $100 AOV, average order value, and that means basically it's made $285,000 profit this year alone. And it's done over, let's have a look, over $8 million since it started back in 2009, okay? It has been running a while, but it's still incredibly, incredibly, incredibly popular, okay? So let's do, let's go into what this store actually is all about, okay? So this store is a clothing store. So as you can see here, the best-selling items are mainly kind of dresses and different styles of big wool dresses, okay? So let's have a look at all of these different items right here. We can see wool dresses, wool dresses, wool dresses, wool dresses. And as you can see, 65 pound, 69, 71, 137 pound, 144. We are, they are selling some big, big, big items. And so far they've done 73,800 orders to date. I'm gonna give you a detailed breakdown of exactly how they built their store to almost $8 million in revenue, how you can steal their strategies to start and scale your own Etsy dropshipping store. So the store is called Axio Lizzy and it's based in China. So they've completely opened that they're shipping from China. They have star seller, which means that they actually have good customer service. And we can see they have almost a thousand products here and they have literally so many different types of dresses and skirts. And that is what really their speciality is, okay? So it's kind of winter, clothing, winter dresses for women, okay? So there are a lot of wool and a lot of very thick material um, dresses and skirts and coats and things like this. They have a very good average order value sitting at around $100 per purchase. They have some coats for around £140 and they have some kind of skirts for around 60 ranging to 70 to 80 things like this. They're running a 20% discount on all items and they don't actually offer free shipping on most of their items. You actually get charged, as you can see here, £12 to ship to the Netherlands and the UK is very similar as well. So let's run through a breakdown of one of their best selling items. You can see this item right here has got a bestseller badge at the top left. And first things first is this photo is amazing, right? This photo is wonderful. Your eyes are immediately drawn to this big skirt right here. The model was wearing black and black, so you kind of ignore this and you just see the big skirt right here, okay? They've also got a video and it's just a slideshow. Very, very simple, makes it more engaging though. And obviously when we go back here, we'll hover over it and you can see that that video is playing. This is a very common strategy and this is a strategy that does increase click-through rate and therefore increase, increases your sales. So let's take a little look at the other photos. Most of them are very, very simple, right? Something that I personally would recommend for them to add here or if you're using their photos is like something right at the end here a little description about the store, saying they have fast shipping, saying they have this, they have a 30 day money back guarantee, things like this. Because all of these photos are very good because it is a clothing item, um, but most of them kind of are showing the same angle. Like this one and this one, pretty much showing the exact same angle and the exact same item. It's not really needed, okay? So let's take a look at the title right here. I like this title, this title's perfect, right? You're, you're breaking up the keywords, you're hitting multiple keywords and key phrases at the same time. Um, let's look down here though. So they've added all the item details here. Uh, well, not all of them, but they've added a good amount of item details right here. They've included the materials and the descriptions. The description is a very like feature based description. They're not trying to sell on emotion. They're not trying to sell any like specific thing. They're just trying to sell purely just literally like on the specifics of the item, okay? So they're telling you the model size, they're telling you that if you wanna change the color, if you size chart, contact us, blah, blah, blah. Size chart, this is gonna reduce the amount of, um, this is gonna reduce the amount of problems that you have, okay? So this one right here, this is like a custom made service. They're very, very clear and very obvious around their, their whole product service. And I think you can do custom, you can do custom things here, which is, which is cool, very, very cool. Video, how to get the right measurement, they're like so 
good at the customer service point of view, right? Obviously, they are a massive, massive store. But look at this. It's beautiful. They've got a whole little video. You need a tape measure. This is how you measure yourself. This is how you do this. This is how you do this. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So you can see here, you can get custom options. And that's a very, that's a very good thing right there. They're charging an extra £22 for custom options. Ooh, they're making a lot more money on that, right? Because this is made in China. It's gonna make, what, five pound to get custom alterations at a maximum. It's a nice little upsell they've got there. So let's go and review the entire store as a whole and see what things we can take over to our own store, okay? So number one thing is Star Seller. Star Seller, you have to be on the platform for a minimum of three months to achieve Star Seller. You have to dispatch everything with tracking and dispatch it within the time allotted that you've stated. You have to give 24 hour responses to first messages and you have to get 4.8 stars or above in terms of reviews. So they've done this and Star Seller is good, right? The main reason if you're drop shipping to get Star Seller is because you have no holds. If you have a Star Seller, you have absolutely no holds and this is a very good thing. It does also increase your conversion rate as well though. So let's check out a couple of the other items. So as you can see here on sale, they've got every single item on sale. It ranges from 40% to literally um, like 20%. I think maybe I saw a 15. No, I didn't. Oh no, I saw a 10. So they're proper testing the different ones, right? You can see some of them are a bit cheaper, some of them 25%. Um, they're properly spreading it out and changing it, right? They've got a new arrival section. So what it tells me if they've got a new arrival section is that they have returning business because they are selling everything in the same niche, same aesthetic, same photos, same model, and they will have returning customers because if you like wool dresses, you're probably gonna buy another wool dress if you receive something that's high quality, right? So they get returning customers, which is a very good thing. You've got the autumn and winter skirts. You've got... Okay, so they... I thought they were mainly gonna be selling like wool dresses for winter but what they've done is they've created curated this first page right here because if you have etsy premium you can move all these things around and they put the wintry items like the coats and stuff like this to the top like right on their first 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 page right if we go to like page seven let's see yeah so they haven't done it for page seven but they've done it for page one uh, maybe for page two yeah they've done it for page two as well um, and it's just kind of all their main, main, main selling items. But anyways, they've got everything nicely and organized, right? Because they've got 73,000 orders. They've been on Etsy for a long, long, long time. So you really need to bear in mind that they are an established, a very established seller. And they've got everything very organized and very nicely done. They have custom photos for each and every single item, right? But this doesn't mean that you can't take items from them and you can't take some market share from them, okay? So we're gonna explain that in a second, but we just wanna give you a quick review of this website and what main things that stand out to me. The main thing that stands out is the amount of profit they're making every single fucking item. I estimated 50% net margins on this. So if they sell something for hundred pound, they're taking home 50. I think it's more than that because they've got that 12 pound shipping on it. Um, and they don't have particularly fast shipping either. So they're making a lot of money on these items. So after looking at this store, how can you capitalize on literally the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands that are making in profit each and every single year? And how can you take some of their market share and make some money, right? They're making 25K a month. If you can take 20% of that, that's 5,000 pounds profit each and every single month. Like they're literally making so much money each and every single month. So how can you capitalize on that? The interesting thing with this store is they have fully custom photos, but they're shipping everything from China. So maybe it's a fully drop ship store, maybe it's not. I think they're doing a bit of a hybrid model where some of the items they are designing themselves and they're making themselves. Some of the items they're using other production partners to make and they're kind of shipping themselves, things like this, right? But not everything is, is custom to them. And this means we can we can steal some stuff and we can get going, right? We can we can take some products from this store. So an extension that I use that's very, very good, search goods on AliExpress by this image. And also if you use Chrome, you can use search image with Google as well. So what this allows you to do is to see if this product is available on other platforms, right? And if similar items are available in different places. So you can see here on the right, we have used Google Lens on this original image. This is one of their best-selling items. Probably has over a thousand orders. 
And we can see that it, a very similar item is available on AliExpress there. So we're going to click on this and we're going to go check it out. So I don't think this is, okay, look, this is a store full of the items, right? Full of very similar items. So we really want to focus on kind of similar items. If we want to capitalize on their store, we want to focus on taking similar items and building out our own store and bringing some differentiating factors, okay? I think the main differentiating factor we can bring to a new store is undercutting them on price, right? We know they're making a lot of money, they're charging for shipping, got a high average order value, clothing's actually normally very, very cheap. Doing the custom stuff they do will be quite difficult, but just undercutting them purely on pricing will be quite easy. So judging based upon this, I think it's gonna be a little bit harder to find their products, but let's have a look. Wool skirts. Because we don't have to find the exact items they're selling to be able to steal some market share from them. So we've just typed in wool skirts onto AliExpress, and we're being very, very lazy with it, but you see right here, there is a wool skirt, very, very similar to the items they're selling, and it's being sold for 20 pound, right? We see other ones here that are very similar. Again, these are similar to the items they're selling. This is very similar to the item they're selling, 14 pound. These are the very similar items. There are so many very similar items that you can list and you can try and capitalize on and take some of their market share, right? They're making $600,000 a year, right? $25,000 profit a month. We can take some of that. I know for a fact we can take some of that, okay? So what is my practical advice to someone watching this video right now and how can you capitalize on this and how can you take some of their market share and go out there and make some fucking cash for yourselves off dress stores, clothing stores, things like this. So what I would do is I would analyze this store, analyze how they're doing the titles, tags and descriptions, okay? Because they've done everything very well and analyze how they're doing the imagery. The way they're doing the imagery is very, very simple. They've got a nice gray background. Pop makes the item pop, makes everything look very simple. They don't do too many lifestyle photos. They've got a couple, but they don't do too many. Most of their best sellers just have a gray background and the item and the dress is just very nicely colored and very, very good. So this would be very easy to take AliExpress photos, use an AI tool. There is so many out there. Change the background to something very similar to this. Maybe you could do dark gray rather than light gray, or maybe just directly copy them and do a similar niche and a similar item and try and take little bits of their market, okay? So they sell a lot of wool skirts. Start listing some wool skirts. You don't need to overcomplicate it to steal from, from some of their orders. They're getting so many orders, 5,000 orders a year, like literally 5,000 orders a year, $100 AOV. If you get a couple orders a day, you're gonna be raking it in. You're gonna be making a couple hundred dollars profit a day. So this store, with this type of product, this store, they have a lot of products, okay? So they have a thousand products, okay? So this is a lot of products. There's a lot of unique items. They've got sizing as well. So it is a headache from an operation operational point of view. But if you come in, you make some money, you just work hard and you stick with it, you will be able to make a hell of a lot of money stealing this product, stealing similar stores from this, and just utilizing Etsy dropshipping for what it is. And it's literally so incredibly good right now. I've been selling on the Etsy platform for two years. I've done over $3 million to date. And this is an amazing store to steal from and capitalize from, okay? I expect someone to watch this video and actually use it, actually take some take some market share from Zhao, Zhao Lizzie, and message me and say, thank you, Craig, okay? Like, you need to take action. If you take action on this store, you will be able to make some cash. They have made literally $8 million since they've started the store. Why can't you make one? Why can't you make 500 grand? Why can't you even make 100 grand? 50% margins, 50K profits, a lot of fucking money. So go out there, take this niche, find similar niches, run with it, and fucking make some cash. If you got value from this video, make sure you subscribe. I'm dropping videos each and every single week about Etsy dropshipping and Shopify dropshipping and how you can start and scale both of them. Check out the description for freeetsyguide.com. That is my free guide website. A couple different free guides about product research and starting your score. Also, check out etsykings.com. That is my paid community and program. 70 part video course goes over absolutely everything you need to know to get your Etsy store or start your Etsy store and scale it to 10K profit per month. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.